Hello, this is Joe Reagan. And in this video, I would like to demonstrate how to use SolidWorks to make a simple frame utilizing a 3D sketch and structural members in SolidWorks known as weldment features. Okay, we'll begin by creating a new file. And I've created some templates. I'm going to use a part inch pound second template in which I have the units defaulting to inch pounds and seconds. Okay, if you need to modify the units, you can go to file options, document properties, and the units are located here. You can modify the units for this particular file. All right, I'll get started by creating a 3D sketch. So I'll go to my weldment tool and choose 3D sketch. If your weldment palette is not up here, you can right click and select it to activate it. Okay, so a 3D sketch. I'm going to start by creating a line and this line can move in three space. It can either move in the X, Y, or Z directions. Um, I'm going to move this line along this direction. Notice if it clicks there, the little yellow indicator next to the X, Y indicates that this line will be constrained to be in the X direction. I'm okay with that, so I'll click there. Now I want to move along the Z direction. And I'm not finding the indicator to pop up, but that's okay. I can come back and add the relationship later. I want to move back along the X direction. And then close the rectangle. Now let's check this and make sure it's running along the Z direction. So I'll apply this relationship. This one should be running along the X direction. And then this one should be running along the Z direction. Okay, and see the indicators are now indicating that the lines are parallel to the um, axis in which I want them parallel to. Okay, now this will serve as the top of the frame. I'll go ahead and add dimensions. We'll let the frame be six feet long by four feet wide. and then zoom to fit. Now I will create a construction line across the diagonal in order to help me fully constrain the sketch. I forgot to click the construction button so I'll select the line with the left click and convert that to a construction line. Escape, right click, select midpoint, Control, select the origin, and make those two coincident. And notice the geometry turns from blue to black, indicating it's now fully constrained. Okay, now I will add leg paths for the table. So I'll start a line here and I want this line to run in the Y direction. Notice the yellow indicator confirming that the Y alignment will be enforced. Escape, and then another line. Now, if you click drag, you'll get different action. Notice it doesn't start another line from the endpoint, as it did over here when I had to hit escape. Now I don't have to hit that button again because I've 
I use the click drag. It's a different option for adding a line. So I'll click drag while holding the left click down, drag down, get the Y aligned line, release, and then click drag, release. Now I want these legs to be the same length, so I escaped, and now I'm control selecting the lines. So let's let them be equivalent in length, and then we'll add a dimension here, and maybe we want our table to be three feet tall. Now we have a 3D sketch which represents the path of each extrusion we'd like. We would like structural members running along each of these um, eight paths to create our frame. So I'll end this sketch.